British rock band Muse scored their fifth British number one album on Sunday when drones went straight into the chart at the top spot, according to the official charts company. The cut features the singles Dead Inside and Mercy and sold almost 73,000 copies, pushing Florence and the Machines, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, down one place to number two. Jason Derulo's Want to Want Me was the top-selling single for the third consecutive week. The track, which is Derulo's fourth chart topper following In My Head in 2010, Don't Want to Go Home in 2011, and Talk Dirty in 2013, ended the week with more than 11,000 sales of its nearest competitor, Omi's cheerleader. <laughs> Big surprising news in banking, co-CEOs of Deutsche Bank, Anshu Jain and Jürgen Fitchin, both announcing their resignations. Uh, this after a series of bad results in the three years they've been there, uh, something of an insurrection from shareholders, um, and yet a little bit shocking because they had just put forward a new plan. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, it's somewhat it's a bit, bit of an insurrection from shareholders. It was just a few weeks ago, the annual general meeting. 39% of shareholders, vo shareholders voted against Executive. So basically, it just means, do you think they've done a good job? We're not happy. Year? Do you like the strategy, that kind of thing? No. 39%. A couple of big firms, including Hermes in London, uh, said, look, it's time for something to change. But as a result, actually, just before that result came out, the day before, the, the bank said, look, we're going to change things a little bit. We're going to give Anshu Jane more control over cost cutting. He's got to cut almost $4 billion of costs over the next X number of months and years. All sounded fine. And then, you know, almost as if they've, they've reinforced that Fitch and, and Jane are going to be at the top of the bank. But guess what? They finally realized, I think Jane, from what the bank is telling us, said, look, I, I can't speak fluent German. I don't have to persuade with the unions. I'm not really persuwading people. All of these I think things that we sort of knew when yeah, he took exactly. the job. But, I mean, the question here really, I guess, so John Cryan, a former C CFO of UDS, will be stepping in at yep. some point. So I'm a little bit because Anshu's leaving soon. He's leaving sticking around yeah. for a while. Yeah. Anshu leaves the end of this month. Uh, 